From freelance photographers to Uber drivers, people who rely on gig work now qualify for unemployment. But that's not the only help coming their way. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro tells us what some companies are doing and explores what the future of independent work could look like after COVID-19. Uber drivers are at risk for contracting COVID-19 at work every day. When I have a passenger in a car, I wear a mask, they wear a mask. Michael Sly is coming up on his sixth year as a driver in Washington, D.C. With so many people at home, the demand for rides is low, leaving drivers looking for support. Uber is launching a work hub feature on its app to connect its drivers with Uber Eats and other companies that may be hiring. It's also offering financial assistance to drivers suspected of having COVID-19 or those at high risk. Sly says he's banking on income from food deliveries to make up for the loss in passenger rides. So it seems like I had a niche in there and that I would probably make a little bit more than I would on unemployment and I did not want to go on the dole. For the first time, gig workers like Sly can file for unemployment under the CARES Act, a move many advocates for independent workers support as they try to shape the future of the gig worker industry. This pandemic will really empower us in many different ways. Holly Heikinen, CEO of iWorker Innovations, is pushing for portable benefits for gig workers. Things like life insurance, retirement planning, and anti-discrimination protection. Heikinen says with so many layoffs, more people could join the gig worker industry after the pandemic, strengthening the demand for these benefits. People are starting to think about and contemplate what does their future look like? What do they need for that future to be successful? A future that is still uncertain for so many. In Washington, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. While Uber says it's working to support its drivers through the pandemic, the company will soon let go more than 3,000 full-time employees and close 45 offices. This follows its first round of layoffs just a few weeks ago that included another 3,700. Some things are changing for Costco customers. The latest on its restrictions still ahead.